involved fathers, <clears throat> uninvolved fathers. If you got a child, if you got uh, uh, ten thousand dollars in child support mm-hmm. debt, there's some individuals got a hundred thousand dollars in child support debt. Mm-hmm. Hey, we gonna discharge that debt. They discharging student loans. <laughs> This is true. They discharging student yeah. loans. I just got a little bit they, off today. They say they say the system is predatory, that we didn't fully understand that these people, they're going to send you to college so you go get a culinary degree. Mm-hmm. And then nobody hiring nobody with no culinary degree. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. And truth be told, the, the government only made, they call the child support law is like Title 4D. They did that because there was so much pressure on the government to help families that needed state Every civilization has always understood that the family structure is the economic power system of a nation. Mm-hmm. Everybody understands that. Mm-hmm. And as soon as they divided the family uh, based on economics, and now we're just completely lost. We've come, like that. <laughs> if mm-hmm. me and you work together and we pull our money, we got more money. Yeah, that's not that. It's just simple math. My one re- plus one is two. In Houston, if you want to have a two bedroom place in Houston, it's going to cost you a thousand dollars or better. A thousand dollars to live in the ghetto over here with me, mm-hmm. and at least seventeen hundred to be in a nice area. Mm-hmm. And so, if if you live in a nice area and I live in a bad area, that's twenty seven hundred dollars. Where could we live then? Mm-hmm. What kind of mortgage could we have then? In a better place. What kind of dinner could we have then? Yeah, like stay focused, bitch. Why are we focused on the wrong thing all the damn time? I'm talking about feelings. This ain't got shit to do with your feelings. Be objective. You might have brunch. I'm finna have top ramen. (laughs) Child support is a motherfucker. (laughs) I'm telling you. It's like, yeah, for real. It has to stop, like for real. I go grocery shopping and I buy meat. All the good shit that I buy, I put that hole in the deep freezer and I save it till my babies get here so I can cook for them, yeah? Yeah. And and daddy be eating sandwiches and chips and fucking noodles and shit. Mm Mm-hmm. Congratulations to all the daddies, the involved fathers out there doing the best they (laughs) can. Involved fathers. Facts. And and congratulations to all the uninvolved fathers who run away from from a situation that's toxic as hell. Yeah. And see, that's a whole... Toxicity is a whole thing. That's a whole other reason why a man wouldn't want to be around his kids. I have to be around a toxic bitch just to be around my child. Don't nobody want to deal with that. Every man who's running away from a system that they think is uh, predatory or oppressive, mm-hmm. I think those niggas are superheroes. Yeah, the deadbeat dads in America, boy, y'all, I mean, y'all smart as hell. It's just, it's just regular human nature. I don't want to be around a thing that's causing me to have abusive, to be abused. Y'all, y'all is the slaves that escaped the plantation, and everyone else like, what? Why are you running? <laughs> Where you going? Ooh. Master finna be mad. I'm finna tell. Get back to work. It's 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 it really is like that. Hey dear gentlemen, man, if that woman is a toxic person and she's gonna put police in your life, stay as far away from her as you possibly can. Yeah, but put be be smart about it though. Just like any person that's in an abusive dynamic, it's like put yourself in a position so that when you do leave, you can be in a good position because those child support laws are against you. And if you leave and if she can claim that you don't have the ability to withstand on your own, you will not see your children. I saw this uh, series. I forgot what state it was, but they run it on the news. Like they put your picture on the news and say, uh, John Smith is a bad father. He's in debt, $44,000. Oh, shit. They put you in jail. And while you're in jail, they come and interview you. They put the camera in your face. Oh, wow. And the reporter said, John Smith, why did? Why are you $44,000 in debt? Yeah, what do you say? And John Smith was like, I, I'm just not being a good man. I, I, I got in trouble. I was smoking meth and I went to prison and I came out and I was $30,000 in child support debt. And then mm. I went to go work at Wendy's and I got fired because I was smoking meth in the back because I'm making John Smith sound. Mm-hmm. But we use substances to cope with this oppressive system. Right. You ain't got no money in the job that you work at. It's a dead end job. And you're trying to figure out how do I navigate this thing? Right. How do I? My baby mama told me, she told me, she said, just figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The prison system is filled with men who just trying to figure it out. Yeah. When I can't participate in the above ground market, I go to the black market. Mm-hmm. I sell dope. Right. I bust niggas upside their head and I take their wallets. Mm-hmm. Because someone's got to explain why I ain't got shit. 